damn you, old scratch! Keep your natty hands off me! I can't let you kill those men, kid. Not until I found the sage. I've been stalking that pig for a week now, charting his moves, and here I find not one but two of my targets, and you rob me of both. Patience, man. You have your kills. When I locate the sage, you're helping me take Prinz. Got that? Wouldn't you prefer meeting in a pub? I came to Kingston chasing a target. Getting pissed ain't a priority. We could work together on this, you know. It's Lawrence Prince you're after. I want his prisoner. We're after the sage as well, Edward. Careful who you cross. May the best man win. There's guards patrolling that property from end to end. Looks to me like they use bells to signal trouble. See there? We'll want to disable those before pushing too far. With so many men about, we can't rely on stealth alone, so... I'll do what I can to distract and draw their attention. Giving you a chance to cut them down. Ready? Your name's not James, is it? <laughs> not most days. <laughs> Come on. Damn, man. How is it you're a woman? Christ, Edward. Is that something that needs explaining? Now, I'm here to do a job. I'll let you be amused later. Why hang over me like a leering crow to see an old man suffer? You've caused no small portion of suffering yourself, Mr. Prince. Retribution, I suppose. You absurd cutthroats and your precious philosophy. You live in the world, but you cannot make it move. You mistake my motive, old man. I'm only after a bit of coin. <laughs> As was I, lad. As was I. Heads up, Kenway! I found your man! I remember you. The Templar from Havana. I'm no Templar, mate. That was just a ruse. We've come here to save your ass from this slaver. Save me? I work for Mr. Prince. Well, then he's a poor man to call master. He meant to sell you out to the Templars. Oh, you can't trust anyone, it seems. <laughs> Robert! Lost your man again, did you? Aye. Roberts is a devil with a queer aversion to kindness. I suppose that's two men I've lost today. So, what's your real name, lass? Mary Reed to my mum. And them I call friends. But not a word of it to anyone. Or I'll unman you as well. The charges, sir, I'll hear them again. My lord, His Majesty's court contends that the defendants... Mary Reed and Anne Bonney did piratically, feloniously, and in an hostile manner attack, engage, and take seven certain fishing boats. Secondly, this court contends that the defendants lurked upon the high seas and did set upon, shoot at, and take to certain merchant sloops, thus putting the captains and their crews in corporeal fear of their lives. Edward James Kenway, born of motley parentage in Swansea to an English father and Welsh mother. Married at 18 to Miss Caroline Scott, now estranged. She's a beautiful woman, I am told, but not at all well these days. If you touch her, you bastards, I'll... Quite a surprise finding you here rotting 
in a Jamaican prison. We heard rumors that you had taken up with the pirate Roberts. If you know the observatory's location, tell us now, and you'll be out of here in a flash. Rogers can hold these British hounds at bay, for a time. But this will be your fate if you fail to cooperate. You, Mary Reed and Anne Bonny, are to go from hence to the place from whence you came, and from thence to the place of execution, where you shall be severally hanged by the neck, till you are severally dead, dead, dead! Oh, Ross! May God in his infinite mercy be merciful to each of your souls! We're pregnant! Do you all hear that? What the devil did she say? They plead their bellies, my lord. Aye, you can't hang a woman quick with child, can ye? Quiet! Quiet! If what you claim is true, then your executions will be stayed. But only until your terms are up. Then I'll be up the duff the next time you come knocking. Remove them! What's your name? Pillock? Ken Moore? Conway? It's Walpole, ain't it? Walpole? Where'd you get that? Well, that's the rumour going round. As dirty and daft a pirate as ever sailed these West Indies. Well, whatever his name, you ought to make sure he suffers without dying. Orders from the governor. And back to the prisons at sundown. And massage his feet if he's aching, shall I? Ah! Quiet, you! Ah! Good morning, Captain Kenway. I have a gift for you. Do not mistake my purpose here. I have come for Anne and Mary, and you owe me nothing for this. Ah. But if you would lend me your aid, I can promise you safe passage from this place. I'll need weapons. You are comfortable with this, I am told. We must hurry. Mary? Mary, it's me, Edward. Edward? Who's this fella? It's all right, Anne. He's a friend. What's wrong with Mary? She's ill. And her child? They took her. No idea where. Oh, oh, oh. I know it pains, my lady, but we must be silent. Can you walk? Uh, uh. Lean on me, Mary. Come on. Uh, I can't. Search every cell. Come on, that's it. Stop. Stop, please. I ain't leaving you, damn it. Lift your arm. It's no good. There's no one here. I ain't leaving you, Noah. Oh, bloody way. Put me down, Edward. Don't die on my account. Go. This is such a pain in the ass. Damn it. You should have been the one to outlast me. I've done my part. Will you? If you came with me, I could. Mary. I'll be with you, Kim. What's happened to Mary? What's wrong? 
Is she gone? I know. Oh, God! Oh. Uh. 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 What will you do now? Nothing sensible. You haven't earned this, but... They suit you. Good fortune to you, Edwin Kenway. No more than two years! You promised me! You left! But I needed you the most! But you had me! What keeps you wondering? Do I not make you happy? I'm so close, Caroline. Please, just let me do this. Is everything you do out spy, Edward? It's not spite that's driving me, Mary. It's courage. Courage for what, man? There's no one left in your life to care. God damn you all. I can handle this. Out. Always tearing down when you could be building things up or building yourself up if nothing else. Just leave me be! Change course, Edward! Change your bloody course before it's too late! Captain Kenway! You look like a bowl of plumbed off. Christ! Oh, I've got a head for ten. 